So how long have you been in MMA? Wait, no. I want to know why he decided to get into the Ultimate Fighter. Wait, I want to know who he picks whoa, between whoa, whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ladies, ladies, calm down. Give us a second and we'll be right back. We are standing here with Jamal Smith. You'll know him as Gilbert Smith as on The Ultimate Fighter. We're here at Victory MMA, which is your gym. I want to ask you, first of all, how long have you been involved with MMA? I know this is a tough question for you. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty loaded question because I've been doing so many different martial arts like my whole life. You know, I wrestled in high school and uh, and in box, and then when I joined the army, I got into uh, jujitsu. So it's been a long process, and most of that really didn't amount to anything to about 2000 when I really start to get into the game of MMA and started putting things together. So uh, I would say about 2005. 2005, that's, that is a long time though. Yeah. Now, what made you open your own gym? What inspired you to do that? Well, um, uh, I really wanted to open up my own gym because I, I felt like in, in Colorado Springs, there, there was a lot of gyms, but everybody, uh, they, they format was a little bit different I, I, I don't want to say that it was bad, but it just wasn't my style. And then I feel like I had a, uh, a lot of knowledge to give back to, uh, to the community. Uh, I had the opportunity to travel the world and train with a bunch of different people. And so I just feel like that, you know, I wanted my own place where I could come and train anytime and, and, and build great fighters and have a really great uh, uh, place to be at. Well, tell us about Victory MMA. What are your hours, location, what things do you offer here? Well, Victory MMA, it's it's a MMA school. Uh, a lot of people don't want to do just uh, just kickboxing or just grappling. We don't just do that. We we, we built around MMA. Like Monday is uh is uh grappling, Tuesday is kickboxing, Wednesday is wrestling, Thursday is MMA. We put it all together, um, and, and we try to structure the program to breed really great fighters. Um, this was something I started back in, in 2009. And uh, we've been going strong. We have a lot of success, a lot of good fighters coming out this camp. And um, I'm, I'm just proud of the guys and the coaches and the people I'm around. Well, tell us about what inspired you to actually try out for the Ultimate Fighter. Well, I mean, obviously what inspires anybody to try for the Ultimate Fighter is to get into the UFC. You know, to get on TV, to get the, uh, the exposure. Um, but for this season, which was the third time I tried out, I wasn't gonna do it. Um, it was a friend of mine from Castle Rock uh, Jiu Jitsu. He, uh, he told me about the tryouts and I was like, man, I, I'm not gonna do it. I already did it twice. I don't feel like flying out to Vegas, spending the money for a hotel and just so I don't get picked. And, and then that day I was just sitting back like, man, I should try it out. Cause before when I tried out, my record was pretty small um, and I wasn't ready. So, but I was like, man, I, I'm doing pretty good. My record is, is looking real nice. I'm more prepared mentally and physically. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. And I went ahead and tried out and made it. Do you think being away from your family and friends, did that have any impact with you in the Octagon? No, I, I don't think being away have had much of an impact. You know, I spent many, uh, I've been away many times, being out in my army, uh, army days when I was back in the army. And, uh, and I got deployed, and then even after I got out the Army, I did civilian contracting for ITT in Iraq for three years. So, like I said, I've been all over. And, he, and, he, and even past that, like, uh, my students and my, my other assistant coaches would know that I would take a training camp. Like, I would go, like, last year, I went to Amsterdam to train with the Dutch kick kickboxers. A year before that, I went to Brazil. A year before that, I went to Thailand. So, uh, I'm always going different places to keep sharpening my knife. So. This was nothing more than a training camp. Obviously, big fights and everything, but yeah, being away wasn't it wasn't a big deal. Well, you really have done a lot of traveling. Being you were in the army, correct? Yes. Where was your favorite place to travel to? Uh, in the army or outside the army? In general. Uh, well, outside the army, uh, the best time I had was in Brazil. You know, going down to Brazil and, and Rio. I was able to train with Mario Sperry, which was a, uh, one of the co-founders to a Brazilian top team, and, he, and one of the leaders to my idols, uh, the uh, Nogueira brothers. 
and to have the opportunity to train uh, jujitsu with him uh, during a camp was really awesome. Uh, we stayed on the beach and and just being around that culture was, was really cool. Well, I'm sure the women helped as well. Those are some pretty beautiful women there. Yeah, um, unfortunately, uh, we spent most of the time training. We used to train like three times a day, so we didn't really get a lot of time to like uh, really soak in the... Uh, My candy? Yeah the, the, yeah, the country. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, tell us about your first fight in the house against Luke. Um. My first fight against Luke was uh, was very interesting. I want to clear up a couple of things. One, people really think that, you know, John Jones set me up, you know, he put me in with Luke and it was a bad matchup. I mean, granted, John Jones approved it, but it was actually me that asked to fight Luke. Uh, I, I, you know, I kind of felt like what was happening when we drove from the fights to the house, Everybody in my team was picking, okay, I want to fight this guy, I want to fight that guy. And the particular person I wanted to fight was Kelvin. You know, he's another wrestler of my height. And, uh, but somebody already picked him. So I was trying to be a teammate. I was like, well, okay, y'all can fight those guys, then I take Luke. And it's because I'm used to fighting tall guys, being a short fighter for the, uh, for the middleweight division. And uh, I, I thought I was going to be well prepared for it. However, getting in there and within five days notice, and finding somebody that's six six, it, it, it does require a little bit of game game planning and strategy, which we just went in there. It was like, okay, you're gonna throw your over left hand, you're gonna get the takedown and submit them. It was no really game plan, so so it was kind of it was kind of tough. 